So this is going to be um, a video covering the playthrough um, of Duel of, A Duel of Ages. Um, it was requested by Zotsman or Zotsman on the forums at Board Game Geek. Um, I'm not used to talking on camera, so this might be trying, um, but we're going to give it a shot. We'll deal out the characters. I think I'm going to do eight characters per side, three platters, um, kind of pretty much like in the overview video I did. Um, so if you're coming to this one first, take a look at that. It'll cover some of the basics of the game, um, but we'll go through step-by-step uh, step now. So I'll give each player eight characters. I think I'll probably just cover one side. I'll leave the other to chance. Or uh, unknown, I guess. Let's see if I can move that away from the line. So we have a pile of Wee Wax, Frost Dancer, Private Sanchez, uh, Genghis Khan, Reaver, Mark Seven. It's a fun character. Sergeant Grit, Kit Carson, Sir Gawain familiar with these guys. Um, Private Sanchez, I think I've played with. Frost Dancer I've played with. Very good melee. Um, Pile of Weewax I've read about a little bit, um, but I haven't played with them. Um, so I'll take a look at the other characters, uh, and then we'll move to setup. So I guess I didn't mention it before, but um, the open character or player will be the white player, um, the co closed player will be black. Um, none of the characters really stood out as anything, so grab the Colossus Platter um, because of the fire there. The black player placed their three uh, platter pieces, the waist, um, the black team base and the Colonial Labyrinth there. So the white player gets to now connect these. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that and finish up for the black player and then we'll come back. So here's what we ended up with. The white team base back here protected black team base. The random draw was Olympus, so lots of mesa, a lot of rough terrain, swamp, forest. Um, looks like the tunnels might be used pretty well. Nothing really jumps out too much. It's pretty crowded. It's going to be a slow map to get around, I think. This kind of how to play. Um, yeah, the modern labyrinth's pretty restricted. The ancients pretty far away from everything. Um, but that's that. Everything's set up. We can probably get started. So. Um, that'll be next. So I gave some thought into who's going to go in first, not past the first turn though. We'll kind of cross that when we come to it. Um, Kit, really for no other reason than uh, he's pretty fast if we can get him in somewhere decently and then get him over here to the Colonial Labyrinth. That'll be good. The domes are all relatively far from it. So to make that track, it'll take him some time if we can get him in there early, the better. Um, Reaver, not really for too much of a specific reason. He's not really a good adventurer. Well, I guess unless it comes to... Yeah, I guess he has a couple things going for him. Um, so we'll give him a shot. I've never played with him before. Um, so I guess we'll see how that goes. 
So let's. That'll be for kit. I decided that before I just didn't say anything. Uh, get him there in the middle, which is probably about as good an outcome for him getting over there as could be uh, for Reaver. Two. I guess really we might as well stick him in there too. Kind of put our stamp on the middle of the map there. So the black player uh, revealed their characters. They're putting in Sterling Jack and Commodore Blaylock. Um, I forgot to hit record, um, but they ended up down here and down here on the fours. Uh, Blaylock rolled a three, but the only three is the one taken up there by Kit already. So he ended up down here, which actually worked out pretty well. He can get over to the future. Um, Sterling Jack down here kind of started in a tough spot. Not sure what he's doing. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, the Guardians out. Um, he got his starting equipment card. It's a pretty fun one. Uh, so that's kind of where we are after the first turn. And that's going to be it for now. All right, we're going to start turn two. Um, one of the things I didn't mention yesterday, I'm not keeping track of the turns. Um, I do a post, but for now I'll just play until either I feel like there's a clear winner or until uh, I kind of get the point across. So we'll do our, yeah, it's a terrible. Um, there's no free actions I'm gonna do. Um, Reaver can if his health gets low, um, but we're good there. So we'll do fire, no fire, and yeah, we'll do movement. So we definitely know we want Kit to get over to the Colonial, move him first. He gets to move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. He's gonna be relatively safe over there. Um, the black player's characters right now have a move of six and they're way over here and here. Uh, so he's good over there. He'll, he'll make it over there. Um, probably not, I guess not next turn, but the turn after that. For Reaver, not really sure what we want him to do. I guess really... Yeah, so what I'm thinking, you go to uh, the, the Lith Alliance, but the first challenge up there is stealth. He has red stealth. Um, so that's not really an option. He doesn't look like he's gonna be a great adventurer. But with not a lot of options open, oh, didn't think about that. He's, eh, I guess, decently close. Uh, in the white team vault is a rail hammer, uh, which is melee. Uh, he definitely has the strength to use it. Um, and then a rucksack, which allows you to th carry three extra cards. I guess I can leave those face up. So, I think we might just send him down to the future. Oh, that's a long trick around though. I, while I'm talking about it, there's no way to get there this way. So, he's gonna have to go all the way around here. I didn't notice that when I was placing the map. I was looking at the map last night. Um, it's not the best placement. I can't remember who placed this one, but it's kind of, it's, that's a pretty crowded map. But I guess we'll play with it now. I don't know where he should go. Yeah, I guess we'll, let's send him up. He can get the cards. Um, I think that's I think that's our best option. So if he has five movement. It's gonna be one, two, three, 
four, five to move into the water. The water has, water takes two to move into, so that's where he is. Uh, there's obviously no opportunity fire for the other player, um, just because of where they are in the map right now, down here. Um, there's no melee, obviously, there's no adventuring. We'll reinforce. I, I thought of this anyway, but now, especially with what's going on down here, if we want to get someone into the future, let's get a fighter in. We're going to put in Frost Dancer, and we're going to put in Private Sanchez. It would have been better if... Ooh, maybe let's do... Actually, let's... Let's put in Genghis Khan. Uh, Sanchez. What I'd like to do is maybe if... Kit... Uh, and he, he's good with the... Yeah, if Kit gets a long rifle... Um, I'd like to get it in San Sanchez's hands, so we'll leave him out for now, uh, and we'll put in Frost Dancer and Gagas Khan. That way, you know, by the time, hopefully there's some adventuring going on, maybe we can hook some people up, get some cards passed around. Um, so we'll dismiss in Frost Dancer to a two. Trying to think, is that? I wanted to say it was a she. Yep, she. We'll put her down here. Kind of mix things up. Her attack is really good. Her defense is pretty good, um, or her react, I should say. Her health isn't great though. Um, we'll kind of mix things up. See what happens down there. Let's get Genghis Khan in. He's going to go to a 6, which puts him up here. Uh, that's it's actually a pretty decent spot. We'll just send him over to the Ancient Labyrinth for now, uh, unless anything else pops up. And we'll go to the Black Player phase. Alright, returning after the Black Player turn. He, uh, Sterling Jack went over here, obviously probably going for the Colonial. Uh, Commodore Blaylock. Blaylock. Playlock. Came over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, two more turns. He'll get. He'll get in there. Obviously, that's kind of what's going on there. Um, the black player got some people into the middle. Dismissed in Sienya, who's actually playing in um, Hello Gregor's seven by seven ages game. Uh, she's leading the Amazonians over there, and Melina Arbato, who I think I had when I played with uh, with Greg, as well as I think I had Sergeant Grit and Kit Carson and Sir Wayne. So, familiar group. Uh, so let's continue with the white turn. I, when, I, when I'm playing, I usually end up playing in order of the cards. It just helps me keep everything in order. Um, yeah, it is what it is. So I'll move Kit. He'll move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reaver will continue down here. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, five, sorry. So he's up there. Uh, Frost Dancer. So here, let's move Genghis Khan while I continue thinking about that. He gets to move seven. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, we'll keep, yeah. He'll just come up here to the labyrinth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for Frost Dancer, let's, let's use her for what we sent her down there for. She has one, two, three, four, five. So she's going to end up there. Um, the black player obviously has a chance for opportunity to fire here. Uh, sorry, in here. They are, however, going to pass. Um, and we'll leave it at that. So we can move to the melee phase. 
again, simultaneously it takes place. It is uh, melee against react. Sterling Jack is green, so white. I have white against green. She needs a nine or better to squeak. Or nine to squeak. So seven is a hit. And then for damage, it is penetration, which is blue, against his shield, which is red. So we have blue against red is eight to dam, eight to squeak. And 11. Um, so that, what do you say it was? So that is, I'm, I'm trying to see if it's a fail or a fop, it doesn't matter. Uh, she does two damage, so I'm a fail or a fop doesn't work. Uh, he gets to attack his blue melee against her white react. That is, he needs four to hit uh, five just missed it so nothing happened with the melee but uh, he has six movement she has seven so she can continue to pester him um, and she has a much better shot of doing any damage whatsoever uh, Genghis moved or I guess yeah we're in melee no adventuring we'll reinforce we'll put in sergeant grid over there first there are some decent characters. Just one. Uh, five. Let's see. We'll get him. The options are here and here. If I take a step back. Yeah, well. I'll put him right there. Or just ugly, and we'll get the Wee Wax in. I've never played with them, but I think I mentioned that before. They seem pretty interesting. Not not great with a gun, definitely, but uh, I might do some decent decent adventuring. They rolled a two, and two there, two there, two there. Uh, let's put them down here. Maybe they can do some. Quick adventuring. Kind of see what, see what they're made of. Uh, all right, black turn. All right, nothing unexpected here. Um, Jack moved away. Blaylock moved in. Um, let's see. Oh, that's. <clears throat> so instead of trying to. Get through all of this. It looks like Milena went up here. Um, Sienna went up here. Tit Titan Renegade ended up in the middle there. And then where did Matt Fade go? Oh, he's over there in the six. So that's what Black did. We'll do white now. Um, no surprise here, we'll get Kate going. One, two, three, four, five, six. He gets there. Uh, Reaver moves five. One, two, three, four. He can't go any farther um, because of the swamp. That would be five, six. <clears throat> so he can't move. Frost Dancer, again, let's. Hmm. Let's go ahead and push our lock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, did he move too much? One, two, three, four, five, six. And they should be there. I screwed that up. <clears throat> so Frost Dancer jumps on him. Genghis Khan's going to continue moving to the Ancient Labyrinth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> um, grit. I stepped away for a minute. I didn't give any thought to what he's going to do. Um, hmm. Let's 
kind of a long haul. He can't get to the future. Might just have him go up here with, uh, with him there and him there. Crit's going to be kind of in a tough spot down there. Uh, he's stubborn and hard-headed. He's unaffected by beneficial mental abilities. Suffers minus two on adventures involving wit. Uh, gains plus one auto pistol, auto rifle, grenade, and heavy weapons. So nothing too spectacular, but I think his best shot right now. His stealth isn't great to go challenge this. Um, his wits are even worse. Um, so yeah, there's no need to send him over there. We'll just send him up this way. That's one, two, three, four. Five, six. Uh, the Wee Wax will learn a f try to go adventure and then move five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, again, Black will pass their opportunity fire. Uh, let's do melee. So again, white on green to hit, nine or better to nine to squeak. Nine or better. So she hits. That's six. Um, damage is blue against red. It's an eight. Nine, which is damage minus two. So she doesn't do anything. So she failed. Uh, Sterling Jack. Fights back at blue against white, which is four. And he misses. All right. Uh, we'll adventure. Count to ten. Turn and fire. So it's a... Uh, is that point? This doesn't really matter. Um... Bug me if I don't look it up though. I'm not going wrong. Yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so, kit is green against blue. It's going to be eight. So, eight or better, or eight to squeak. And wow, that is an 11, which is a fail. So the fail result is a dismissal. If a bullet decides who's right, you are definitely wrong. So we'll dismiss him. Gets a three. Um, he ends up on a four, which means he can go here, here, or here. We'll go there. All right. Okay, my batteries are dying. Um, last thing we'll do is dismiss the other two in. Do Gawain first. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. I heard it pronounced differently. I can't remember what it is though. He goes to one. Uh, so our options are here or in the middle. Yeah, we'll put him up there. He can get to the. get up there. Yeah, there's not really much going on. Uh, and then Private Sanchez is hoping. Kit would have a weapon by now, just in case. Rolls a two or you know one or a four, but yeah, one. <clears throat> so would have been nice if he, he had gotten some sort of weapon to get in Sanchez's hands, or park him up here. But see, so, yeah, that'll be all right. Um, I think I'm gonna put these up now. Um, so yeah. <laughs>